Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Galio, the Colossus. <gasps> Battle begins. Let's do this then. Galio's passive is Colossal Smash. His next basic attack deals bonus damage in an area scaling with his magic resist. Colossal Smash's cooldown is reduced whenever Galio hits enemy champions with his abilities. Galio's Q is Winds of War. He fires two gusts of wind in converging arcs that damage all enemies hit. When the blasts converge, they form a vortex for a few seconds that continuously deals damage in a small area. When combined with his passive, Winds of War lets Galio shred minion waves in seconds. Just make sure your positioning is solid. Line up the wind to hit both the front and back line. Galio's W is Shield of Durand, and it does a few things. First, it passively grants Galio a magic damage shield that refreshes if he avoids taking damage for a moderate period. Second, activating Shield of Durand causes Galio to enter a defensive stance for a short period of time. As long as the key is held down, he gains damage reduction and moves slowly. When the W key is ultimately released, Galio taunts all nearby enemy champions. Range and duration extend based on how long the stance was held. While Galio's charging Shield of Durand, the channel cannot be interrupted by crowd control, though Galio himself is still affected. There's no better way to start a fight than a flash taunt. Here, Galio preps Shield of Durand and moves in, using his defensive stance to weather damage from Varus and Ari. With the taunt fully charged, he flashes in for a brief but brutal skirmish. Rock solid. Galio's E is Justice Punch. When activated, Galio jumps back, winding up for a big ol' punch. After a brief delay, he lunges forward, knocking up and damaging the first, and only the first, enemy champion hit. Galio cannot punch his way over walls but he can flash them. Justice Punch is great for starting fights, but Galio will run into trouble if he's trying to punch his way out of a brawl. Here, Shivana steps in front of the big fella while he winds up, blocking his dash so Caitlyn can serve up a little justice of her own. Galio's ultimate is Hero's Entrance. Galio chooses an ally to save, granting them Shield of Duran's damage reduction and flying to their current location, knocking up and damaging all enemies in the area when he lands. The knockup lasts longer for those in the center of the landing zone. Galio flies specifically to the spot the ally was when he activated the ability. It does not follow them. <laughs> this ability can only be interrupted by crowd control before Galio takes to the air. Afterward, he's immune. Hero's Entrance's damage reduction kicks in the moment Galio casts it. Use it to give your buddies a little extra oomph when they're diving for the big play. Five bot. Properly fighting as Galio requires you order your abilities correctly. Justice Punch closes the gap for the first use of Colossal Smash. Shield of Duran sets up for an unmissable Winds of War. By landing your abilities, Colossal Smash should be back up for your final bit of damage. When his lane's pushed, Galio's free to roam within a stone's throw of bot lane. Even though Caitlyn can see the indicator, Zyra's root holds her down for Galio's big entrance. The knockup allows for an easy chaining of Shield Durand into Winds of War, which wins the war. Going somewhere. Hero's entrance can get buddies out of tight spots, but only if he gets the timing right. With Vayne already inches from death, Galio is unable to save her. And since the landing zone is based on where his ally was, he finds himself surrounded by big, scary-looking dudes. And also Ezreal. If he had made a hero's entrance beside Nami, potentially he could have achieved a different outcome. When you're a tanky warden, you can stroll straight into a battle. Garen's silence cannot stop Galio from catching his foes with a massive taunt via Shield of Durand. When Braum gets low, Galio busts out his own ultimate in the middle of the fight to show Garen his own special brand of Demacian Justice. 
After Justice Punch and close the gap, Galio caps the fight with two final kills thanks to an empowered shield of the Rand plus Flash to catch Ezreal and Thresh. Thanks for watching the Galio Champion Spotlight. Learn more about Demacia's Colossus by clicking the links below. Well, hello there, handsome.